Jerry. I'm pregnant. With your child. Just for Monica's child. Are you seriously gonna cut your own kid out? Layla. To tell you the truth. I'm the father. Of Monica's child. What did you say? My son is sick now. And needs umbilical cord blood. Can't you cooperate with it? Layla, you don't know yet. Jerry got you pregnant. Just because we need your baby. To save my son. That lump of flesh in your belly. Can save my son. That's his honor. What are you raving about? Monica. You've got some nerve saying these words. Shamelessly seducing Jerry. Layla, are you seeking death? Jerry. Bear this in mind. For what you did to me. The Smith family won't let you go. The Smith family? Without Wesley, that bastard interfering, I would have taken over the whole Smith family. If it weren't for Wesley, always secretly protecting you, I would have sent you to meet your dad in hell. What did you say? You didn't know, did you? That guy is madly in love with you. Today, I'm gonna kill both of you. Wesley. Wesley. Do it with no trace. Monica, come back here. Someone help. Help. Jerry. Monica, come back here. Someone. Help. Save me. Open the door. I didn't expect. What he said was actually true. Miss Smith, wake up. It's late, and you're still not up. Where am I? Have I been reincarnated? And time traveled, to before marrying, that beast Jerry. This time, I will make Jerry and Monica. This pair of scum. Pay in blood. Miss Smith, get up. Mr. and Mrs. Smith are waiting for you in the dining room. How could you? Keep your parents waiting? Really a wild girl from the countryside, with no manners at all. Miss Smith, so what if I want some money? So what? Damn it, give me the money. Brenda. Come here. Miss Smith, what's the matter? Ouch. You. What's your status? To comment on my affairs? You dare hit me? Remember this. Even if I'm vulgar, I'm still the young lady of the Smith family. No matter how experienced you are, you're just a servant. Based on what you just said, You've lost your salary, for this month. I, I'm telling Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Layla. How could you hit Brenda? Dad. Brenda. Doesn't respect me at all, no matter what. I'm your daughter. She's just a servant. How dare she boss me around? Aren't you afraid that she'll... Spill the beans one day, making our family a laughingstock? If that happens... You'll be ashamed. All right. Behave yourself. Oh. Leave us. Hey. After all, Layla grew up in the countryside. Not like our own children. She lacks the sophistication. Yeah, I did grow up in the countryside. I've never learned how to be a homewrecker. Or how to be a cunning one. Naturally, I can't compare to you, but... Iris, you have to watch out. Don't lead Monica astray. Even if she is adopted. She's also the young lady of our family. If she becomes another homewrecker, that would be a pity. What's going on here? Just shut up. I've had enough. I'm leaving now. Hey, what does your dad mean? Why does he always back that bitch? Mom, calm down. I have a way to deal with her. What's your idea? Say it. 
Two days later, at Grandma's place, there'll be be a family banquet, right? Go find Layla. And then trick her there. Let's find a man and rape her. At the banquet. Then bring others over to catch them in the act. Layla. There's a banquet. At my parents' home tonight. Your dad told me to. Take you to learn. Etiquette in high society circles. Hurry up and dress up. Why are you suddenly so nice to me now? What? Do you want to trick me at the banquet? How could I? Get ready and come with me. It was also this banquet last time. Since you can't wait to be bad. Then I'll let your wish come true. Layla, come with me. This is Layla. Hello, hello. Oops, Mrs. Stone. Mrs. Stone, this is Layla. She just returned home. Ah. Watch yourself. Oops, Layla, your dress is wet. You can't keep covering it up like this. Follow me to the changing room. Layla, this is the dressing room. I'll wait for you outside. Iris, I'm scared of the dark. Can you help me switch on the light? Oh? All right. Who the hell are you? How dare you sneak in? This is outrageous. Capture him. Send him to the police. Stop snapping. Mom. Wake up. Call the doctor. Call the doctor. Ah, uh, Monica? Where's this? Where's that bitch? Why are you here, Mom? You mean that man? Ah. Mom, listen to me. I've told Uncle to evacuate the crowd, but too many people had seen you. I don't know if we can suppress the news. Why? Why me? Mom, calm down. It's already happened. We must come up with measures. Check out the surveillance footage. See where bitch Layla is. Mom, listen to me. Damn. I still inhaled knockout drops. Got it to find. Some place to hide. As soon as possible. Wesley? Miss Smith, are you okay? In my previous life, you told me, Jerry wasn't a good person, I didn't believe it, I thought you were jealous of Jerry, for the airship. Now it seems that, Miss Smith, are you alright? I'm fine, I was ridiculous, thank you, Mr. Marcus. Eh. Can you help me find somewhere, to change clothes? Miss Smith, we're not that close, do we? What if I have a deal, to make? Regarding the heir of the Marcus family. Say it, Miss Smith. What's your deal? Mr. Marcus, don't you have any longer clothes? I can't show my face wearing this. There's bathrobe. Need it? Forget it. Mr. Marcus, I plan to marry to you. I can help you. Score that inheritance. Why? Jerry. He cheated with Monica. And made her pregnant. I can't take this lying down. After everything is done, help me get back all the property of the Smith family. Those belong to my mom. Okay. Deal. 
Let's go. I'll drive you home. Mr. Smith, what's your opinion over Mrs. Smith's secret meeting with a strange man? Mr. Smith. The Smith Group stock price plummeted. What's your plan? Mr. Smith, Mr. Smith. Iris. How dare you pry here? I give you everything you want. What about you? How dare you cheat on me? Patrick, you misunderstood. I really don't know who he is. I'm the victim. It was Layla. It was her. What does it have to do with Layla? Still trying to justify yourself, huh? I didn't. I took her to the banquet. Out of kindness. She was so vicious. She knocked me out. I don't know who the man is. So many people have seen it. I want to die. Enough. Is it not embarrassing enough? Want to die? No one will stop you. Patrick. I've been with you. For so many years. How could you ask me to die? Ah. I'll die in front of you. Ah. Don't, Mom. No. Dad. Isn't this Layla's fault? Mom has suffered enough. Are you? Pushing her to death? If anything really happens to Mom, how are we going to explain to the outside? Oh, where's Layla? Did she feel guilty and not dare to come back? How would I know? I took her to the banquet. And her dress was wet. I took her to change clothes. But she knocked me out. Then I lost my consciousness. Mom always be kind to Layla. You knew it. Although she is not Layla's biological mother, Mom has done her best, right? How dared Layla? Repay kindness. By framing Mom? I heard our stock price has plummeted. What is she up to? Oh. And that man yesterday. How dared he offend? The Moore and Smith families. Just to help Layla? How strange. How did Layla? Plan everything? She doesn't have money. This angry. I'll skin her alive. When she's back. Why are you so angry, Dad? Who are you going to skin? Give me whip. I'm going to punish. You ungrateful daughter. Kneel. Dad. What's wrong? Why are you so angry? You're hitting me. Aren't you? <laughs> Dad. If you don't welcome me, I can leave on my own. You don't have to intimidate me. Don't you know? What despicable things you have done? Well, I really don't know what you're talking about. Yesterday, Iris was knocked out in the Moore's residence. And she was raped. Didn't you do it? How? She was knocked unconscious there? And even raped by a man? I have no idea. Stop pretending. It was you knocked me out. How dare you deny it? I feel wronged. It was really not me. Dad. Think about it. Iris brought me to the banquet. That was the Moore's residence. It was her own home. No matter how powerful I am. How could I hurt her in her own home? Or took a strange man to hurt her? It's impossible. Maybe she was dating him. And got caught. Now use me as an excuse. Iris? If you don't believe me. Then we can. Go to the police. Then we can. Go to the police. Layla, shut up. You want everyone to know? You framed my mother and caused the stock price to plummet. The reporters are still outside. What are you up to? You two are hilarious. What? Failed to frame me? 
Now want to slander me? I'm just telling the truth. You should shut up. You! Oh. What about the surveillance camera? Why don't we check it? Everything will be clear. Right? Ah. Uh, I forgot. The surveillance camera didn't work. What the hell is going on? Dad. Don't listen to her nonsense. She was trying to extricate herself. Those are all ridiculous excuses. You panicked, Monica. It can be repaired, right? Need my help? I can find professionals. Right, Dad. Even if you are framed. Then where were you before? You even come back in a man's shirt. How do you explain? Don't forget it. You have an engagement with the Marcus family. If this gets out, will the Marcus family accept a fiancé like you? You! You tell me the truth! Where were you last night? Who did you meet? What did you do? If you don't tell me the reason, I'll break your legs. Yeah, I did go to meet a man. And improve our relationship. You shameless thing! I'll beat you to death. Mr. Marcus. Mr. Smith, you like to play with whips? Mr. Marcus, your hand is injured. Let me disinfect it. Layla is insensitive. Dad got angry because of her, so he wanted to teach her a lesson. After all, she is a woman. But she didn't come home until 10 o'clock. She even came back from a man's house. It's inevitable for Dad to get angry. I'm hurt. This is for you. You know? I'm new here. Not familiar enough. I don't know where the medical box is. Anyway. Thank you, Monica, for getting it. Why is this bitch seducing men everywhere? Why? Layla, Jerry is so nice to you. Good men like him are rare. Cherish him. Understand? Stop fooling around with other men. Don't let dad worry about you. When it comes to fooling around, you're more experienced than me. Layla, what the hell do you mean? Layla, what the hell do you mean? Monica. Why so angry? I'm just telling the truth. What's more, the man you just mentioned. Do you mean the one next to me? I'm sorry to let you down. Not only do I not intend to break up, I'm going to thank him properly. And improve our relationship. Mr. Marcus, what do you think? My pleasure. Layla, you're engaging. With Jerry soon. It's better to keep a proper distance from other men. Ah. Uh, Mr. Marcus, my sister, wants me to stay away from you. No way. Miss Monica Smith, please make sure to understand the situation before opening your mouth. Layla and Jerry aren't married yet. I have the right to pursue her. Mr. Smith, please discipline your daughter well in the future. What did you say? Remember to wash my clothes before returning. Layla's engagement is with the Marcus family. It's not specified. Dad. See how Layla behaves. I treat her wholeheartedly. Think about her in everything, afraid that she will make a mistake. She really played me for a sucker. Indeed a girl from the countryside revolves around the man. All day long. How rude. Mr. Smith, it's really noisy and annoying, right? You seem can't discipline your family well. Shut up. Shameless thing. If you talk nonsense again, I'll drive you out. 
Mr. Marcus. Sorry, I failed to discipline her. I'll make my wife behave. I'm sorry you had to witness this. Mr. Smith. Regarding the engagement, don't take the wrong side. Layla's engagement is the most important thing for deciding the heir. So, if Layla makes mistakes again, tell me privately. Don't discipline her in private anymore. Ha ah, ha it's a misunderstanding. Tonight, it's all a misunderstanding. It better be. If I ever find out, Layla is bullied at this house. You know what our family is capable of. I see, I see. Never again. Never. I'll explain it to Grandpa. I'm leaving. Wow, impressive. Get a man to back you up. Enough! Are you done? You just went back for dinner. Now you caused such a big scandal. How do I know if you're really cheating on me behind my back? I'm telling you. Tell your brother to suppress this scandal. Right now. Otherwise, I'll divorce you tomorrow. Patrick Smith, we've been married for 17 years. How dare you talk to me like this, you bastard? Mom, Dad, stop. Woo woo. Woo woo. Mom, stop crying. So many years. Your dad never beats me. Ever since this little bitch came back. I didn't even have a peaceful day. What am I supposed to do? So what? Could Layla predict the future? It's all because of you. Why are you blaming me? If Layla marries Wesley, the Marcus family, your dream. No one can stop me. Mom, tomorrow, when Layla gets back, you should fake a fall and accuse her. There are two benefits. First, it can prove her intention to harm you and relieve Dad's suspicion of you. Second, if you get hurt, Dad will definitely feel sorry for you. It can improve your relationship with him. This idea is good. Let's do it this way. Oh, Layla. You're back. I asked Brenda to make your favorite food. It was all my fault before. Ah, Monica, Layla. Why did you push your sister? Are you okay, Monica? Mom, take me to the hospital to bandage the wound. Oh, right. Let's go for a checkup. To the hospital. In the previous life, Monica also got pregnant at this time. Here's my evidence. Hello. I'll give you a blood sample. Test it. See if this person is pregnant. Do another paternity test. With my father. Thank goodness my baby is fine. Mom, I can't let anyone know about my pregnancy. Patrick, what's going on? Monica, come and take a look. You're impressive. Dad. You're really Iris's daughter. Like being a mistress? Or is it that you're only interested in my fiancé? Layla, what are you talking about? I don't understand. Jerry has already confessed. You're still pretending? Who's your baby's father? Layla. It was an accident. Jerry only loves you. It's me. I insisted on keeping this baby. I'm not interested in raising children for mistresses. Abort this baby. Dad. It's my fault. Not my baby's fault. I can't do it. 
I can't let my baby die. I can't do it. There's no room for discussion. Layla refuses to forgive me and wants my baby to die. I'll die with my poor baby. Monica? Patrick? You just watch Layla. Presses Monica to death? You'd better not be so eager to die. I don't want thing between us to end so easily. Scared? Stop making a fuss? Didn't you always say I'm a countryside girl? What you did is not any better. What are you doing? Jerry. Layla wants me to die. Layla, how does it end up like this? What? Feel sorry for her? You don't even pretend anymore? Layla. Is there any misunderstanding? I can explain. You really think I'm a fool? Monica said it herself. You two are the perfect match. She even bears your child. Listen up. Who's your baby's father? Layla. I insisted on keeping this baby. Jerry, I didn't say that. Jerry and I really love each other. It's all your fault. It was not me. She frames me. Jerry. Layla. Monica and I drank too much. It was all an accident. You're the only one. Nonsense. I don't want to hear. I ask you. Are you keeping this baby or not? Jerry. The baby is innocent. Layla. The baby is innocent. All right. I won't raise her child for you. Go back and inform Sir Marcus. Break off our engagement. Layla. Jerry is begging you, in such a humble way. You really won't forgive us? Layla. Don't go too far. Monica and her baby won't affect your position in the Marcus family. If you have the gut, marry Monica openly with a mistress's baby. I will never marry you. Layla, you know my grandpa won't agree. Aren't you just relying on the life-saving grace back then? How dare you threaten me here? Sir Marcus used marriage to show his gratitude, not let you disgust me. You trash. You're not the only one in the Marcus family. Cut the crap. She's right. Wesley? Wesley, are you crazy? You hit me? Grandpa already knows what happened between you and Monica. Layla's right. Jerry. Since you can't control yourself, you might as well break off the engagement. Mr. Marcus, I think you're a better option. I'm willing. No way. I don't agree. I'll never cancel the engagement. Jerry. It's not up to you. I was wrong, Layla. I shouldn't have betrayed you. Even though I was drunk. I'm a sinner. Then, what about Monica's baby? I'll ask her to abort right now. Jerry, are you crazy? Monica, we will have children in the future. Jerry, what are you doing? Monica is bearing your own baby. Satisfied? Thank you for helping me out. But, the engagement. Don't you have to consider it? Miss Smith, are you abandoning me after using? No. I'll come for the engagement once I sort everything out. Bastard. How can I have the nerve? To face Layla's mother? Grandpa, I know I was wrong. I've already asked Monica to abort the baby. I will definitely beg for Layla's forgiveness. No need. Grandpa Layla said. She feels disgusted at the sight of Jerry. Layla also said. She wants to engage with me. Oh? Didn't you disagree marry her before? We can't afford to lose our reputation again. I'd better rest assured by myself. 
Great. Then, I will have Soothsayer Divine, whether you are compatible or not. Wesley, are you crazy? Why are you stealing Layla from me? Since you don't cherish her, I will. Besides, how did you know my beloved girl? Wasn't Layla at the beginning? What do you mean? Oh, don't forget. Grandpa didn't tell you to stand up. You idiot! Why did you confess in advance? You destroyed my plan. Jerry! Layla questioned me about the pregnancy report. The record, she framed me with it. You can check out our surveillance footage. It's all over. What's the point of investigating, you idiot? Now, Layla's going to marry, Wesley. If Wesley really gains the upper hand, we won't get anything. Jerry, I have a plan. My grandma will come to my house tomorrow. She's the hardest one to get along with. As long as Layla has a conflict with grandma, based on my dad's silly filial character, he would definitely scold Layla. Then, you can comfort her. She will definitely change her mind. Didn't Layla's dead mother have a pendant? Find a way. Let your grandmother take it away. Yeah. Wait for my good news. Mom, sit. Grandma, here. Amy. My good girl. Quite sweet. Where are they? You didn't tell them? How come it's just you here? Looks like I'm not welcome here. Mom, don't be angry. Patrick is busy with his work. He'll come back after he's done. But Layla. I did tell her. Why didn't Layla hear? She's always like this. Just like her dead mother. Same annoying. Oh mom, you have no idea. Layla is so arrogant at home. She always bullies me and Monica. You, as her mother, should teach her properly. I'm just a stepmother. How can she listen? It seems like we need to teach her how to behave well. Where is she? Call her. Grandma. Are you looking for me? You still know I'm your grandma? Why didn't you come to welcome me? Oh, I have no idea. No one told me you were coming. Ah, you're making things up. I called you. Grandma, you can check yourself. She must have deleted the record. That's enough. I'm already tired. Of coming here. I'm hungry, let's eat. Mom, try this. Layla, after the breakfast. I'll bring all the servants to help Mrs. Stone. You should take care of your grandma and Amy at home. Okay, I got it. Well, Mom, eat slowly. So well behaved? She must be up to something bad. Let this old fool teach you a lesson. Mom, Mrs. Stone's husband, is an important client for Patrick. We'll be busy there until late. If you need anything, just ask Layla. Since it's an important client, build a good relationship with them. Then we'll leave first. Layla, just you wait. Layla, pour a cup of coffee for me. Okay. Now, I can't confront her yet. I need to escape from here. Grandma, here. You both just arrived. I guess you haven't tasted a crony city's famous pastries. Those pastries are not something you can buy even if you have money. How about I go? Buy some for you to try later? 
sure, go buy some. It's indeed that brat's child, a despicable woman, just like her. Only Amy is filial. I have to find a good family for Amy, while I'm in the city this time. Layla! It's really you! Wait for me, Layla! What do you want, Jerry? Forgive me, Layla. Grandpa punished me to kneel for a whole day. My knees are still swollen. I will treat you well from now on. I believe you won't follow. Wesley just for power. Right? So materialistic. If I had such a handsome boyfriend, I would never leave him. Layla, we've been together for so long after all. I know you also have feelings for me. Give me another chance, okay? Miss, you don't know how lucky you are. You have such a handsome and loyal boyfriend. Why aren't you cherishing him? Him? If this man not only cheated on you with your sister but also got her pregnant, do you want him be your boyfriend? I don't want a mistress, baby. He called me malicious and even threatened me to break off the engagement. You must break off with him. There are plenty of men in the world. So don't be deceived by men's sweet words. The face is indexed to the heart. How can someone who looks so extraordinary turns out to be like this? But nowadays, there are pregnant wives who are pushed off cliffs for insurance money and also those who dismember wives for houses. It's quite common, really. Ah, I don't want to get married or give birth. Shut up. Let me explain, Layla, it is not what you think. Jerry, I warn you, if you dare to disgust me again, I'll beat you every time I see you. What's wrong, Jerry? Didn't you say, you would let that bitch know her place? Why hasn't it worked yet? She even dares to hit me now. What? She hit you? What the hell is going on? What happened to her? She's become like a lunatic. Last time, I had a good plan, but I didn't expect her to. Ran off to meet Wesley in secret. That was how she escaped. We must hurry. I heard that Wesley has already prepared for a formal marriage proposal. Don't worry, my grandma is not an easy person. Wait for good news. What a bad luck! How come I ran into Jerry? It seems like going back from here, we'll pass by the Marcus group. I never know what Wesley likes. Hello, I'll take one of each of your popular items. Okay, please wait a moment. Hello, do you have an appointment? Um, I'm a delivery person. This is prepared by the fiancé of Mr. Marcus. Could you please help me deliver it? Okay, I will deliver it. <laughs> Ms. Hart, this is ordered by Mr. Marcus' fiancé. Please give it to Mr. Marcus. Mr. Marcus. I don't like sweet drinks. The receptionist said it's from your fiancé. I was wondering, when you get a fiancé, is this a setup? Mr. Marcus, you, you really have a fiancé? Really? How come I don't know such a big thing? You know her. No need for a special introduction, right? I also know her. The Epstein family, or the Moore family. The marriage proposal, my grandfather mentioned before. Miss Smith is not satisfied with Jerry, so she switched to me. Miss Smith, she's not with Jerry anymore? This is tasty. Quite good. Why don't you order this for everyone in the company? Also, let everyone know about my fiancé. Are you serious, Mr. Marcus? Do I look like I'm joking? Do I look like I'm joking? So scary. It seems like the boss is angry. He really is serious. Ah, what's this? Mr. Marcus, do you want to take a look at this news? It is not what you think. Jerry! I warn you! So it turns out, she personally bought this for me. It wasn't a takeout. Mr. Marcus, you focus on the wrong thing. Didn't you see that she was with Jerry? 
haven't you win her over? Miss Smith, let's make more dishes today. Miss Monica Smith is back today. Chop these beefs and make a beef stew for her. What a heartless woman. That's her own sister. How could she do this? Brenda, come and take a look. Oh. Is my cutting still good? Not bad, not bad. Then I don't need to learn from you. Ah, uh, no need, no need. Let me do it. Let's just say it's made by you. Is that okay? Yes, it's okay. Well then. Thank you, Brenda. Layla helped. With today's meal. We usually can't have this. Oh, Monica, have more of this soup. Your sister personally stewed it for you. It's nutritious. Thank you, Layla. My stomach hurts. Ah, oh, what's wrong? Mom. The soup is poisoned. Help! Someone is trying to harm Monica. Ah, uh, Miss Monica Smith. Quick! Call a doctor! Patrick, Monica just had surgery. And Layla poisoned the soup. She wants to kill Monica. I told you, I didn't do it. I also drank the soup. If you don't believe me, we can check the surveillance footage. Yes. Let's check. Layla also drank the soup. Would she harm herself? There must be something in the soup. Others would be fine. But Monica can't drink it. She was putting on an act. Layla, you really didn't tamper with the soup? If it wasn't her, then who could it be? Patrick, you have to stand up for Monica. I told you, I didn't do it. How can you deny it? She can't even get up. Can Monica frame you? With her own body? Iris, you're just talking nonsense. You can't blame me. I didn't make the soup. Brenda made it. Brenda? Brenda? I'm asking you, you made this soup? Or Miss Smith made? Tell me the truth. I made it. But I didn't harm Miss Monica Smith. I, I just cooked normally. There is still a lot of soup in the pot. We can call a doctor to test it. Layla, didn't you say? This soup was made by you? What do you mean by that? If I made it, then there must be something in it. If it was Brenda, it's just a misunderstanding? Enough. Iris, ever since Layla came to our house, you've been causing trouble for no reason. Layla is my daughter. I'm telling you, this time, you've gone too far. Patrick. Patrick, where are you going? Patrick. Grandma, I bought the snacks. Shall I bring them for you to taste? You're thoughtful. After all, you're Patrick's daughter. This old lady. She's always been against me. Why didn't she kick me this time? Strange. Quite fishy. By the way, Grandma, where's Amy? Why didn't she come back? She went to see a friend. Don't worry about her. She knows the way herself. She can drive. She's grown up now. Are you afraid she'll get lost or something? All right. I'm tired. I'm going back to my room. Strange. In the past, she made me do all the dirty and tiring work. Now, why does she look a bit guilty? What is she guilty of? Did she do anything? And feel sorry? Ridiculous. Didn't leave anything for me. How dare you take the pendant mom left? Crazy woman. What are you doing? Why didn't you knock? 
you're asking me? I'd like to ask you. Amy is a thief. What nonsense are you talking about? Don't play dumb to me. I am not raised by your Smith family. Even this villa doesn't belong to you. Don't forget. How did the Smith family become rich? Oh my. You're my granddaughter? You're pissing me off. Since you don't welcome us, we'll go back overnight. Amy, packed up. Let's go. Okay, Grandma. Oh my god, what happened? Don't pull me. I'm going back to the countryside. This wicked girl. She insists I stole her things. I never did it. How dare you hit me? How dare you hit me? So what? I am your father's lawful wife. Legally, I am your mother too. You've always bullied Monica and me. Well, today you even bully your grandma. I won't spare you. I raised Patrick with great effort. And now he's successful. His daughter is so bold. She dares to bully her father's mother. This is really absurd. Is there any fairness? Any. Fine. Fine, just see for yourself. The surveillance footage is here. Last night. Only Amy. Entered my room. If you still protect her. I will call the police. What a disaster. What a disaster. We're family. How come? We end up at the police station? Besides, she is your cousin. What's wrong? With her using your things? What's the big deal? How? How can you accuse her of stealing? Oh my, my back. My back is definitely broken. Oh, my back. Ah. Layla, how dare you push her? Have you gone crazy? Amy, you took my pendant. The person who told you to take, didn't tell you this pendant, means how much to me. Hand it over. Otherwise, I will call the police. You probably don't. Want to spend the rest of your life in prison. Layla, let go first. I'll go get it for you. Layla, we're family. It's just a misunderstanding. Let Amy give it back to you. Grandma, let's go. What's going on, Grandma? It's all because of Monica. She said Patrick has a client. Who is interested in that pendant? Monica said she can arrange for you to negotiate the deal and if it's successful she can get you a job at patrick's company layla that little bitch it's just a piece of junk she is just like her mother has no vision doesn't she know this family is run by my son everything in this family belongs to us it's only right for me to use it oh grandma we've been used as pawns we can talk to uncle directly. Monica, what does she think she is? What did you say? Monica set us up? How dare she? I'm going to find that little bitch and settle the score. I'll show her what happens when she messes with me. Grandma, please calm down. We're in the city now. That stuff we used to do in the village won't work anymore. We need to use our brains now. But we can't leave it at that today. Why me? I need to act fast. If Miss Smith wakes up, I'll be in trouble. Mississippi. Mississippi Smith. What's happening? Why are you making such a big fuss? In the middle of the night? Brenda wandered into. My room with scissors. I wonder who's behind this. Are you trying to kill me? Miss Smith, I was wrong. Iris, are you still going to let her work here? I have already called the police. Let the police interrogate her. Really have to be like this? 
It's so embarrassing. Mrs. Smith, please save me. Officer misunderstood. It's just that the child throwing a tantrum. I am her mother. Oh, she just came back from the countryside. Who knows she would act so immaturely? She's rebellious. I'm her stepmother. It's not easy for me. Mrs. Smith, you should educate your child properly and not waste the police's time. Goodbye, officer. What? <laughs> Looks like I have to personally take Brinda to the police station to get justice. No, Miss Smith, I'm sorry, I won't dare anymore. Miss Smith, please. Layla. Layla. Listen to me. Just kick. Brinda out. It's not honorable things. Huh? She sneaked into my room. So scary. I suffered mental distress. Run out of your allowance? How about $20,000? Mrs. Smith, please save me. I served you for 20 years. I deserve some credit. Mrs. Smith. Enough. $60,000. $60,000 should be enough, right? $100,000, not a penny less. Mrs. Smith. Useless. Get out of here immediately. You better keep your mouth shut. Otherwise, don't blame me for not considering our relationship. It's been a long time since anyone cared about me. Oh, what am I thinking? It must be because of the deal with me. She deserves some credit. Layla, your mom is kind and gentle. How did she give birth to a daughter like you? Yes. My mom is kind and gentle. Isn't my behavior like this because of your genes? You. So you're Layla, right? You beat up my mom last night? Yes, it was me. What's wrong? How can you do that? You just boss around here? You beat my mom so badly. Her liver is damaged. She's lying in the hospital right now. Today, you must give me an explanation. My mom needs surgery now. Today's surgery fees, nursing fees, and the future, mental distress fees, and maintenance fees. You have to take care of it. No. I'm going to the reporter today. I want the whole world to know how you rich people treat your servants. What's going on, Layla? How can you beat someone like that? Dad. Brenda came out. Me with scissors. I can't defend myself? Nonsense. How could my mom want to kill you? Bullshit. My mom was fine before. How come she wants to kill you? As soon as you come back, what benefit does she have? Even if you guys have money and power, you still have to be reasonable. Today, I will definitely demand justice for my mom. Then tell me, what kind of justice do you want? We took her to the hospital. If she needs a liver transplant, it would cost at least $200,000, the future nutrition and care fees, as well as her mental distress fees. We're looking at at least $1 million. What? One million? Why don't you just rob us? You fail to negotiate, then resort to tricks. If tricks don't work, you'll threaten. What? Force me to compromise. In this way? Don't talk nonsense. These compensations are reasonable. I've consulted. If you don't, agree to negotiate. We, ordinary people, can only seek help from the media. I swear to seek justice for my mom. Hilarious. Seems like you're showing weakness, but it's a moral manipulation. How can you be so sure? Once you expose the matter, we will compromise with you. Due to stock price, 
and public opinion pressure? Why? Patrick, where can we get one million in cash? If that's the case, we'll have to sell my dowry house to raise the money. One million is indeed a lot. How about this? We will hire experts for Brinda. All the costs. During this time, will be covered by us until Brinda recovers and can be discharged. What do you think? Is that okay? Enough. You want justice? My mom said she is easiest one to be stamped on. We are not interested in your little amount of money. But if we really take you to court, you will really go to jail. This won't benefit both of us. You should consider it carefully. We only have one miserable life, but you rich people have a lot of money. One million is, indeed, quite a lot. Judging from my dad's look, he won't give the money. How about this? I'll help you call the police. Shut up. Layla. You are shameless. I still have my pride. The Marcus family won't let you. What about the Marcus family? Monica just had a miscarriage, and your reputation has been ruined again. You don't need to worry it. I will handle it myself. Listen to your dad, Layla. Stop causing trouble here. It's better to call the police. I forgot to tell you. There are surveillance cameras in my room. The footage is very clear. With the surveillance as evidence, at most, I will be considered acting in self-defense. Also, since the police are involved, professionals will assess Brinda's injuries. You don't need to demand $1 million just by talking. Of course, since Brinda has worked in our house for so many years, out of humanitarianism, I will give her $2,000, but as for the rest, you can call to the police or find reporters. I'm always here. Impossible. You think I'll give up? Surveillance cameras and bedroom? Who would do that? Okay, then. You want things to get ugly? If Miss Smith wakes up, I will be in trouble. See? Brenda didn't sleep at night and entered my room with scissors. Trying to harm me for money? Do you know how this will be judged? If you don't know, go home and read the law carefully. Don't think about dirty things every day. And try to extort money. No, no, she definitely wasn't trying to harm you. Maybe she was sleepwalking or something. Yes, 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 she often sleepwalks. It's just a misunderstanding. What a pity. I was thinking, my pocket money isn't enough recently, and wanted some compensation. Then, you don't call the police? Or send me to jail? No, no. Then what are you still doing here? Get out of here. Out, huh? Ah, just now you said you will give us $2,000. Brenda is a loyal servant to Ms. Moore. Why don't you ask Ms. Moore for it? She often mentions Mrs. Smith and says that Mrs. Smith values her a lot. Many things are done by... Um, I've already transferred the money. Let Brenda take care of her health. What? Are you disappointed? See that I won't go to jail? What nonsense are you talking about? Didn't you say that just now yourself? My only value is to marry into the Marcus family. You're really heartless. I never expected in my life my dad to say such things. Why don't I just leave? After all, I'm not part of the Smith family sooner or later. That's not what I meant. Let's go, let's eat. It's been exhausting. Mom, have breakfast. Layla, your grandma just arrived. You're already eating? Oh, just have a meal. Why so many rules? If we're talking about rules, as the hostess, how can you speak? While chewing food, 
That's impolite. What's this? Weren't we just arguing yesterday? Why is she helping me now? This food is too hard. My teeth are not good. Hear that? Make another bowl for mom. Hurry up. Why? Even my mom didn't ask me to cook before. Let me do it. Oh, you are so filial. Mom, you are lucky to have a granddaughter like Amy. I'm just an old woman from the countryside. What luck do I have? You're lucky. My son earns the money. You only have to be a well-off lady. How comfortable. Grandma, what are you saying? We are all family. My dad is the most filial. He will definitely help. You and Amy move here. Good girl. Unlike some people who pretend to be respectful but use others as pawns behind their backs. Don't listen to Layla's nonsense. It's not easy to move here now. According to the policies of a crony city, first you need to have a house. Besides, if you move here, what about the land in the village? That's difficult. Beside, Grandma values the land, in the countryside the most. I will accompany Grandma in the countryside, for the rest of my life. But still, thank you for your kind intentions, Layla. You're welcome. Layla and Amy are cousins. Cousins should help each other. That's what family is. Iris is right. That's strict now. It's not that easy. What does a little girl like you know? We have talent policies in a crony city, don't we? Although it's not easy for grandma, Amy can move here through the policy. Our Smith group receives many talent policy quotas every year. Allow Amy to join the company first and then allocate the quota to her. That would solve the problem, wouldn't it? Really? Does that work? Of course, it's true. Grandma, you may not know but the people in a crony city are all snobbish. If you are not a local, they won't choose you as a daughter-in-law. I'm just a country girl. I don't have the ability. And I'm not as lucky as Monica. Isn't this causing trouble for uncle? Patrick. Can you handle this matter or not? You treasure. A bastard so much, but it's so difficult. To do this for Amy? How can I not know what you're thinking? This is a very clever way to make grandma indignant and put pressure on Patrick. It also makes you stay out of the matter. Dad, just let Amy join the company. I'm just idle at home anyway. If I go with her, I can keep her company. Layla, do you understand anything about business? Stop causing trouble for your dad. Dad, I want to join the company. With that mediocre university you went to, you're not even qualified to be a manager. You're wasting your time. Doing odds and ends. Have you lost your mind? So what? If Amy can join the company, why can't I? Anyway, I want to join the company. Patrick. You're being blinded by this woman. What did she do to you? Do you think I don't know what you're plotting? Can the Smith family really be entrusted to an illegitimate child with a dubious background? I think you, you've forgotten your origin. After marrying a wealthy wife, have you forgotten? I am so mad, so annoying. I can't go on living. I didn't say that. Mom, mom, okay, they can, mom. They're both joining the company. Okay, okay. Thank Layla and your uncle. Thank you, uncle. Thank you, Layla. Grandma is really difficult to deal with. This Amy is not an easy person either. No need, we're family. Let's eat. Later, go with dad to the company and report for duty. When you get to the company, work hard. Okay, grandma, I won't cause trouble for uncle. 
Not today. I have something to do. Another day. You have a temper now. It seems that you feel ashamed of me. Hello? Mom, what's wrong again? Can't you let me sleep a little longer in the morning? Monica, I'm being bullied. By them at home. Layla wants to join the company and help Amy. Move over. That old lady. Felt so grateful to her. How are we going to fight her? If she enters the company and checks the account, our past actions will be discovered. If that happens, your father will definitely kick us out. Mom, Layla's goal is not just Jerry at all. Previously, she was overly accommodating to make us lower our guard. How can a country girl be so cunning? Mom, our situation is already bad. If Layla is indeed targeting the accounts. What should we do, Monica? Since that's the case, don't blame me for being ruthless. Where does Brenda live? I'll give Layla a big gift. What are you going to do? What gift? Don't worry about it. Clear out my room. I will move back home tomorrow. Oh, okay. Why do I have to take care of that old fool in the countryside? Why were you born with a silver spoon? But I wasn't. I really overestimated you. Your ambitions are written all over your face. Hurry up. That's the Miss Smith. She killed my mother. My mother died so miserably. Miss Smith is what he said true. Did you really kill a servant? Mr. Smith, do you know about this? Cinerary casket and reporters? They are well prepared, huh? Mom. Why did you leave us like this? She is taking advantage of her power. Everyone, please help me get justice. Look at how the rich treat people. They don't see us as human beings. They killed my mother. They're an unscrupulous company. What should we do, Layla? They're pressuring our Smith group into settling the matter. With public opinion, it's extortion. It's useless to say these now. Haven't you seen the casket? There's no evidence now. Move out of my way, or I will call the police. Let's go. What's wrong, Miss Smith? Fall in love with me? Nonsense. Get in the car. Why are you here? I was... passing by on my way to work. Yeah. From a conference with hundreds of attendees? I can handle it myself. Oh my god. I don't want to pick up trash. On my fiancé's car. Eh. Can you drop me off at the Smith's residence? To the Smith's residence? 
Mr. Marcus, Miss Smith, we're here. Why is this road so long? Go back to the company. Investigate the people. Who blocked Layla? Okay. Aren't you going to work? How did it turn out like this? Layla. When did you come back? Why didn't you tell us? Uncle and I have been looking for you. Did you get robbed? It's all because of her. At my age. My reputation is... Ruined today. Patrick. What happened? What's going on? What's going on? Brenda died. Her family came to the company. And brought a group of reporters. Now there are plenty of accusations. Against our Smith group online. For being heartless. And oppressing the employee. Our stocks. Will drop to the bottom tomorrow. Brenda died? Yes. Wasn't it just an injury? If you kill someone, you have to pay your own. It's not that serious. They are using the media to force us to give them money. How much money do they want? How much? One million. So much. We can't give them. Mom, we have to compensate them or else they will come to the company with the casket every day and the media will keep reporting. If so, our company, our company will be doomed. She's the killer. It's not that you killed Brinda. Take her to the police station. Let her face the consequences. In any case, we can't compensate them. Besides, she is about to get engaged. So she is no longer a member of the Smith family. If we have to compensate, let her husband end. The Marcus family pay for that. No, no, no. We can't let the Marcus family know about this. Or they might break off the engagement. The company's development still have to rely on the Marcus family. We can't let them know. That must have been Wesley. Who took Layla away just now? I need to bury this soon. I can't let it affect the engagement. This matter has caused such a big fuss. Even if we pay money, Layla's reputation will be ruined as well. Will the Marcus family blame us? It's best she can't get married. We need to settle this matter quickly and compensate them with money. I didn't expect that Patrick would be willing to pay one million for me. I don't think we need to compensate. Since they are afraid to report to the police, why don't we report it ourselves? I believe the police will give me justice. It's all your fault. If you had given the money to them last time, will this happen? Go to the Marcus residence and explain to them. Tell them you didn't kill Brenda. It was them trying to extort money. Understand? If I don't have the engagement with the Marcus family, will you have sent me to the police station? I will handle this myself. None of you need to interfere. Otherwise, I won't care anything if I go mad. You. Insolent. Oh, what's going on? Come, take a seat. Grandma, I missed you so much. I was sick these past few days. And didn't want to infect you. I hope you're not angry. I also brought gifts for you. Thank you. I like them very much. Grandma. Look. This is for you. A gold bracelet. This bracelet is worth thousands of dollars. It can be exchanged for money anytime. Amy, these are a few handbags I picked out for you, as well as some high-end dresses. You still have to dress decently when you go to work. Consider them as your job entry gifts. Monica, this bracelet is so shiny and beautiful. 
Oh, I really like it. You must have spent a lot of money. Thank you, Monica. These handbags are all so beautiful. I really like them. Amy, there's a certain way to match these dresses. Makeup and handbags. I'll teach you later. You will stand out when attending banquets. Monica, are you willing to take me to banquets? I won't embarrass you, right? Of course not. Amy, we're family. Oh, by the way, where's Layla? I also prepared a gift for her. Don't mention her. She killed a servant, and your father had to compensate for her. What? How could this happen? I knew it. I shouldn't have held. Any hope for this useless father. Hello. I was just... about to call you. Your clothes probably won't be able to be cleaned. Let's go shopping another day and buy a new set. Aren't you going to tell me what happened today? Oh, it's a bit naughty. The servant stole something. And I kicked her out. The next day, her family came to extort money. After I sent them away, she died days later. The body has already been cremated. Dead men tell no tales. After I dropped you off at home today, I sent someone to investigate. What did you find? She stayed at my family's hospital. I have the surveillance footage and medical records. There was indeed someone. Disguised herself and entered the ward that night. It doesn't match your height. And it wasn't because you hit her that she was hospitalized. She already had liver problems. So that means I can clear myself of suspicion, right? There's one more thing. Brenda hasn't been cremated yet. The procedures aren't that fast. The body is still in the hospital. We can file a case and do an examination. Where are you right now? I'll go find you. Let's resolve this matter first. Gr Grandma, let's go to Paris together next month for shopping. The air there is really good. Oh, Layla. Where are you going? It's so chaotic outside now. What if Brenda's family ambush you again? None of your business. Stop. Since I found this. It means I have already seen through your tricks. Do you want me to call the police? Or sit down and have a talk? Then, let's talk. What do you want to talk about? The surveillance footage of the day Brinda died. Her autopsy report. And my alibi. Oh. The body hasn't been cremated. As long as I call the police. As a criminal case. The police will definitely give her an autopsy, and determine the true cause of death, then I won't have any suspicion. Both of you. Will be charged with extortion and defamation. How many years will you be sentenced? If my memory serves me right. You two have a son, right? How much impact will it have? On him if you both have a criminal record? Miss Smith. Please spare us. Please show mercy. We are so sorry for what we did. Spare us. You don't have anything else to confess? What? What do you mean? Stubborn. Just wait for the summons from the court. You mean, there is a mastermind behind them? Don't you think Brenda's death is too suspicious? Wesley, go to the police station with me.
It's me. Didn't you say it won't go wrong? Today, Layla came to me. So what? She said she has evidence. Not only will I not get the money, I might also be sent to jail. How can she have evidence? Didn't Brenda burn to ashes? Eh. The hospital process is too long. I can't wait. So I took a fake casket. What? You idiot. Why didn't you listen to me? Then you can just wait for death. Show some respect. How do you say this? I can easily expose you. Don't try to be tough with me. I just gave a suggestion. Remember. You were in the ward. You have the highest suspicion. Murder requires paying with your life. What should we do now? The biggest problem now is Layla. As long as we get rid of her, we can be worry-free. What? You want me to kill her? Good for nothing. What's the use of killing her? Aren't you just want the money? You kidnap her and ask her family for $1 million. I'll help you lure her out. Can this work? Do you have any other options? Monica, is there something wrong? Jerry, I have a way to secure your position as the heir to the Marcus family. What way? Layla has offended someone. Someone wants to kidnap her. If you save her at this time, you'll be a hero. Send me the time and location. Jerry, what about our previous agreement? As long as I take over the Marcus family and wait until Grandpa dies, I will marry you. Can this work? This is the best opportunity. We also need to get rid of Brenda's family. Don't let him implicate us. Where is the person? Don't bother struggling. It's useless. Do you know the consequences? Shut up. Brenda was killed by you. I just want some compensation. So what? Don't worry. As long as your father is willing to pay, I won't harm you. You've kidnapped the wrong person. I'm the most unwelcome person in the Smith family. How could my father be willing to pay for me? Your father is still counting on you. He won't give up on you. Actually, you should have asked me directly for ransom. What are you doing here? It doesn't matter how I got here. I already have the evidence. You will be rotten in jail. Are you okay, Wesley? Are you okay? Let's go quickly. Otherwise, there might be more trouble. Jerry! Why are you here? I just happened to pass by and saw your car parked there. So I came over to take a look. Are you okay, Layla? Just passing by? How can it be so coincidental? Wesley! Why are you here? 
Can't I have a date with my girlfriend? Wesley, you bastard. Steal everything from me. I will kill you sooner or later. Get in the car quickly. Hurry up. I have a house in the suburbs. If you trust me, you can go there. You? Why are you here? Layla called someone. Before going out, I came to save you. In case your plan fails. Sit down and I'll get you a glass of water. Here. Take it slow. These few days, just stay here. Until the heat dies down. You? You drug me? So what? Should I let you ruin my reputation? If you want to blame, blame Layla. She competes everything with me. Why can't she just be my pawn? Hey, Mom, everything was done. Brindis. Mom, I've already told you, it's all over. Compete with me? Have you found Brindis' son-in-law? Not yet. There are no other traces of cars near the factory. It's so strange. He shouldn't have run so fast. Oh, have you asked his family? Yes, his wife said she didn't know. This situation is so complicated. Who do you think is the mastermind behind all this? Who else could it be? M? Just him alone can't set up such a big scheme. And also use my mother's death to trick me out. Don't you think it's suspicious? Jerry appeared. In the end? Monica Jerry. And your stepmother. That's right. Since they are playing like this, I don't have the patience to deal with them slowly. Sorry, sorry, did I hurt you? It's okay, it's okay. If you need anything, just tell me. Oh, by the way, we'll have dinner with Grandpa tomorrow. You can stay here tonight. We'll go together tomorrow. Layla didn't come back last night. And early this morning, I received a text message. Is Layla really kidnapped? Hey, maybe she went out with some other men again. Isn't Monica also Missing for a night? Don't say such nasty things. Oh, what are you doing here, so early in the morning? Monica, what's going on? Mom, I don't know either. I just took a walk, and saw her acting suspiciously, standing at our door, 
My husband sent me a text message yesterday saying he scammed $1 million and wants to elope with Miss Smith. He hasn't come back yet. What? Your husband is missing too? Hmph. Could it be that Layla and her husband fabricate the kidnap to scam money and elope? Don't talk nonsense. Mom. How could Layla do such a thing? Mr. Smith, you have to help me. We have a three-year-old child. What am I going to do? What? You, you, let go of my hand. Mr. Smith, please, please. I believe you can find Miss Smith. Please let her return my husband to me. All right, all right. We still have a son. All right, all right. We'll find her and give you an explanation, okay? You, stop that. Come on. Get up first. Stop crying. Come on. Trust us. We will do our best to find your husband and my sister. Here. Here are some money. You can take it first, but there is one condition. You can't talk nonsense outside or tarnish my sister's reputation. She still needs to get married in the future. Your health is important. If you get sick, Monica and I will worry about you. Will Layla feel sorry for you? The Marcus family is so good. But she doesn't want it. She went out to find that scoundrel and elope. These two daughters, none of them can put my mind at ease. Hey! I chose you back then because I loved you. My mom even threatened to commit suicide. In the end, I still chose you. Moni, Monica, what? What should we do? Dad, we need to be prepared for both options. Send someone to find Layla and try to bring her back. If she is determined to leave, we have to apologize to the Marcus family and see if we can cancel the engagement. Cancel? No. Patrick, you said the Marcus family is very rich, right? Anyway, they are going to marry a daughter from our family. I think we can just switch to someone else. Amy is a good option. Mr. Smith, Mrs. Smith, the Marcus family sent an invitation and asked us to come tonight. What a bad luck. Oh, Grandma. Things are not that simple. It was set by Sir Marcus. And Layla's mother. It can't be changed. These two bitches. Only know to drag us down. Even if we switch, it will be Monica. But Monica and Jerry. Forget it. I guess Sir Marcus won't agree either. Go prepare. Bring some gifts. And bring Monica. With us tonight. Why do you bring her here? She is not an easy person to deal with. I need someone to compliment me. Mr. Smith, please come in. Sir Marcus. Oh, Patrick, you're here. Please sit down. Where is Layla? Why doesn't she come with you? Oh, don't mention it. I came this time to break off the engagement for her. What happened? Breaking off the engagement? Why would you do that? You think my grandson isn't trustworthy? No, no, no. Our Smith family wholeheartedly wants to form an alliance with Marcus' family. It's just that I... Oh, I failed to discipline my daughter. There is something I can't hide and must tell you. Say it.
Sir Marcus. Because of the incident. Of killing the servant. My sister had a big fight with dad. She ran away from home. This morning. A woman came to us. And said that. Her husband had eloped with my sister. Layla is not that kind of person. Yes, of course, Sir Marcus, at first, we believed my sister. But that man said. He loves my sister and. Plans to take the money and leave a crony city. We are afraid that this engagement. Would wrong Mr. Marcus. So we come and cancel the marriage. Cancel the marriage? I don't need to, be informed. You, aren't you? What? Wasn't I eloped, with other men? Sir Marcus, you can't listen to their nonsense. After so much effort, I finally developed, feelings with Wesley. How can I, let go of him? How dare you come back? You elope with someone else, and want us to clean up your mess? Iris, you are, the Mrs. Smith, so please speak more decently. You slippery little girl. You have no shame. Wesley. What exactly happened? Layla was kidnapped and extorted last night. I was also injured. Layla was scared. So she stayed at my place. Ah, uh, Layla. Are you okay? Let me check. Are you injured? I'm fine. It's just that Wesley got injured. He's a tough guy. He'll be fine. You can't get a single injury. Good for nothing. I gave you such a good opportunity. What have you done? Who knows if he stayed with Mr. Marcus for a night or got caught. I don't have the hobby of concealing my wife's affair. Of course, not everyone likes to be a cuckold. Moreover, I have evidence. Mr. Smith, the police will take care of Brinda's matter. This has nothing to do with Layla. That's why Brinda's family got angry and kidnapped Layla. Don't be deceived. Mr. Marcus, you better cancel this marriage. That woman might come looking for you one day and embarrass your family. Mr. Smith, I told you last time to properly discipline your family members, but you didn't take it seriously? Layla, look at you. Why didn't you come back home earlier? This morning, the woman came, looking for her husband. What? Dad, don't tell me you. Enough. Stop making things up. It was Brenda's daughter. She said you eloped with her husband. She even showed me a video as evidence. Oh, it's him. Well, there's no need to panic. The police will find him. After all, he has broken the law. He should be held accountable, right? Does this bitch know anything? I must hurry. All right. That's enough. Now that it's clear, let's go eat. I need to calm down. Layla after this scare. I invite you all here today to announce something important. I had someone do a divination for Layla and Wesley. June this year is the best date. You can get engaged next month. I've watched Wesley grow up. He is absolutely reliable. 
if he ever dares to mistreat you, just let me know, and I'll deal with him. Ha ha, don't worry, Grandpa. I've tried so hard to make Layla stay. I'll cherish her. Congrats, Layla. I thought you would be with Jerry. Layla, did you want Wesley all this while? What does it have to do with you? I just think. Poor Jerry. Doing so much. He ends up empty-handed. Stop spouting nonsense. Don't make me slap you. I just think it. Unfair for Jerry. Layla. You've been using me all these years. Using you? Should I remind you why we broke up? It was all because you slept with Monica. Don't play all innocent. Layla, stop. Stop? What? You forget how you begged to keep the baby? Layla. You and Wesley just want our family's good status. And you. Layla chose you because of our family, the benefit our family brings to her. To support the Smith family. I suggest. You. Use your brains. To support the Smith family. I suggest. You. Use your brains. Don't call them a material girl when you're rejected. Sometimes you need to think where you went wrong. That's right. Besides, you don't have anything to offer. Why bother? All right, all right. Eat up, eat up. Jerry is always like that. Don't mind him. Didn't expect Monica to do such a thing to climb up. Jerry looks like a playboy to me. If I get close to him, can I possibly marry him? Jerry. Let go. Monica. You're even more disgusting than Layla. What? Jerry, why? What do you mean? Let me ask you. Why did you ask Dad to cancel the engagement? Do you want Layla gone? So you can marry Wesley? How can you think like that? I'm just... I'm just buying time for you. What if Wesley and Layla really get together? How are you gonna take over your family? How dare you say that? You set up to kidnap Layla. But why was Wesley there too? So... Okay. You also want to use me to hook up with Wesley, right? Jerry. Let go. If anything happens to me at your house, I won't let you off. I can't do anything about Layla. But Monica is adopted. Why are you living a better life than me? Just you wait. Patrick. Yes? Let Layla stay. I'd like to spend more time with Layla. Ah, uh, sure. She's still young. It's best if she can learn from you. Grandpa, I'm afraid. I'll stay for just one more day. I've long promised Dad I would start working in his company. I have to go tomorrow, no matter what. Don't worry. Anyway, the company sure is doing well. Without you, you should just spend more time with Sir Marcus here. Bo? You don't want me to start working. Or is there wrong with the company? How could that be? I really want you to rest up. Oh, stop it. You're always butting in. It's my company. She can go whenever she wants. 
Goodbye. See ya. Take care. Grandpa. You guys. Should hang out more. I'm just an old man. I'm heading back. Grandpa, see you soon. Things aren't settled yet. Why are you in such a hurry to go to the company? They even tried kidnapping. Which means they panicked. About us. So I want to take this opportunity. To check the company's accounts ASAP. Don't want more chances for them. If you need anything, you can ask me. Thanks. Why thank me? We're in this together. What do you mean by that? Do you still think? We're just cooperating? If I just want to inherit the family business, I can totally do it myself. Do you think I'm like Jerry? Someone who can only use his wife? Do you ever suspect that I work with you? Just because of you? Okay, young man. I see you've got a plan. Well, how do you know I don't? Just to make sure. Off you go. I'll treat you to dinner tonight. All right then, bye. Dad, I'm at the company. Is there anyone in charge to pick me up? Okay, I saw him. Hello, Miss Smith, isn't it? I'm the finance manager of the company, Jack Moore. Please follow me. Jack Moore? So you and Iris are? Ah, uh, Iris, you say? Patrick's wife? Yes, we're kind of related. For Iris's sake, I'll take good care of you. Please come with me. Related? So Iris even dare to plant people in the finance department. Hey, everyone. This is our new colleague, Layla. She'll be my assistant. Hey, another pretty girl in our department. Look at her outfit. I bet she's some noble lady in here for fun. Guess what? I saw her just now. Get out of a luxury car. We should butter her up. TSK, Jack, didn't pick me up when I first arrived. And I'm just a clerk now. These people don't flatter me either. Why can she act high and mighty? I saw it too. There seems to be a man in the car. OMG. Is he her sugar daddy? The world's getting worse. Hello, everyone. I'm Layla. I'm here at the company this time to help my dad check the accounts. Don't be nervous, everyone. You can get back to work. In the future, I might also need your help. Thank you for your work. I'll treat everyone to coffee. Did she say, Dad? Is she Patrick's daughter? But... I've seen his daughter before. She doesn't look like this. She might be the one. That has gone missing. Now Patrick has her back. That figures. She's young, rich, and beautiful. Isn't she supposed to ride luxury cars? What a coincidence, my cousin. You also work in the finance department. Hmm, I. So they are cousins. She just said her cousin was a kept woman. What kind of person is she? Keep your nose out of this. No matter what, they're relatives. Don't get involved. Mr. Moore, where's my office? Oh, this way. If I want to check the accounts, Iris's people will definitely stop me. Come in. Wow. Your office is so big. What? I'm the CEO's daughter. Isn't it natural for me to have one? Layla. I know your secret. Why don't we work together? Secret? Me? 
The mistress Iris. Cornered your mom to death. You want to take revenge. Is that a secret? Everyone knows. We don't get along. Mr. Moore is Iris's cousin. It's not that easy to check the accounts. But I can help you. With it. Say it. What's your condition? I want to marry into the Marcus family. What? Just because they're rich? No. On my own. I can't find a rich husband. However, you're engaged to Wesley. Isn't it easy for you? To introduce me to them. Let me advise you. Jerry isn't good for you. If you want someone rich. I have some other guys. You don't think I know. What you're thinking. You just despise me. So you don't want me to find a better man. Okay. Don't say I didn't warn you. But you came to me empty-handed. You need to pledge allegiance. Or I won't believe you. You didn't receive the video. I anonymously sent you. That one was enough to. Lock Monica up. Yes, I have. But if I can't find Brenda's son-in-law. The video will be useless. As for Jerry. There's nothing I can help you with. Seems Amy. Hates Layla. I can make use of it. Transfer the assets. And make the Smith Group fall into a financial crisis, then buy it at a low price. I've come to. The right place for checking the accounts. Hello, Wesley. I know how to drag down Jerry and Monica. They must have transferred the assets of the Smith Group. What do I need to do? Help me check if they own other companies or channels to transfer the money. Otherwise, my dad could have at least suspected something. And Amy sent me a video at the Marcuses. They had a fight. Now is the best time for us. All right, I get it. I'll give you the results ASAP. Mr. Moore, you want me? Sit, please. You're my niece. That's true. Just now, I saw you left Layla's office. You don't seem happy. But there's nothing we can do. She's Patrick's daughter. And us? We're just distant relatives. I hate the way she puts on airs. Sit down. We can't help it. But the first time I saw you, I really liked you. In the future, I'll take care of you. Jack, what do you want me to do? Just say it. You should know Layla is here to check the accounts. If she finds out something, wouldn't she be the boss of the Smith Group? You two don't get along. And how's that gonna benefit you? But if you work with us, you can be a senior executive with a call from you aunt. We've paid a lot to fake the accounts. Neatly done. That pretty face Layla? She can't detect a thing. You need to give them to her. And make her believe they're real. Layla, you look down on me. Fine. I'll find a way myself. To marry into the Smith family. And get their money. What? Let's talk inside, shall we? Come in. Say it. What's the matter? Mr. Moore invited me out for a drink. He got drunk and talked about some flash drive. I didn't care about it before. But aren't you checking the accounts now? I thought it might help you. I sneaked into his office and took this. It's not the original version. It's a copy. See if you find it useful.
Hey! Mr. Moore is gross. I let him take advantage of me, to get this. Now you trust me. Let me advise you one last time. Jerry isn't good for you. I can help you find other guys. Other guys? Who could be richer than him? You're not my sister-in-law yet. So stop preaching. Fine. When you regret it. Don't say I didn't warn you. Oh, right. I just passed by Iris's room, hearing them talk about a hill in the back or something. Something like, don't let anyone find out. You should check it out. I remember your... On good terms with Monica? With her around. How am I gonna marry Jerry? Wait. Next week is Sir Marcus's birthday. He'll announce Wesley and I are engaged. I can take you there. However, whether you can have Jerry is up to you. You good for nothing. We adopted you. And you caused such trouble. And you want our family to clean up the mess. Bah. Dream on. Today, I'll drive you out of this house. Ah. Patrick, mom doesn't know. But you do. Monica is your real daughter. Enough. Didn't you adopt her? Mom, it's not like that. Patrick didn't divorce back then. I didn't want people to call Monica illegitimate. So I told people we adopted her. She is our biological daughter. For pity's sake. I thought you'd be better than Layla. Yet you've got to. Stir up such trouble. Patrick, you can solve it with money. Please help Monica. Get lost. Solve it. The news has spread on the internet. Moreover, she was fined 10 million. For illegal tax evasion. Where can I get the money? Tell me. What? She's my biological sister? How is this possible? How is this possible? How's that impossible? Don't fan the flames here. I fan the flames? Iris? I did more than just a pregnancy test. I was just curious. Monica was adopted. And I was not. But you were so nice to her, and so bad to me. So I used dad's hair. To run a paternity test. Guess what? Monica was not related to dad at all. Don't talk nonsense. Why are you still bullying Monica now? I bully her? I still have the result. You faked it. The same blood sample. If her pregnancy is real. How is the paternity test result a lie? If you don't believe me. I'll get it now. What the hell is going on? Poof. She just faked a report. Dad. Look for yourself. If it's true. You bitch. Lying to me all these years. And I've raised another man's kid. You blame me? If you could've. Divorced that bitch. I wouldn't have. Use Monica to keep you. You shameless slut. And shameless? Patrick Smith. You think you're some nice guy? I only had a chance. Because he slept with me. Even if Monica isn't your daughter, do you really not love her a bit? Ever since Layla came to our house, have you ever looked at us in the eye? You paid to cover Layla's killing someone. When Monica's in trouble, you'll stand by and watch? Also, Dad, they said on the internet that Monica was doing money laundering. But she's just a little girl. Where did she get so much money? Yeah. 10 million in fines alone. Dad. Could it be the money of the Smith Group? What do you mean? These are the company's accounts from Jack Moore. The report is too perfect. 
Dad, you told me before. The Smith Group's cash flow is in trouble. That doesn't match. This report at all. Iris, what else do you have to say? Isn't Jack your cousin? Your more family is really, you've got it all planned out. First, you brought this bastard child back. If I hadn't found Layla, would you have stolen my fortune? You make false accounts. Are you going to steal our everything? You wretched woman. Patrick, you must divorce her. Give back our money. Fuck off. Get lost. Now, Mom. From now on, get out of my house. And you. Patrick, I was wrong. Don't drive us away. Get lost. Hurry up. Scram. Get out of here. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Ah, uh, Mom. Mom. My dear sister. Don't think. This is the end. What else do you want? I'll suggest Dad sue you. For your money laundering. And her transferring the assets. It's enough to lock her up. Impossible. Even if we deceive Dad. He won't listen to you. Then you still don't know Patrick. Do you really think he cares about you? He only cares about his reputation and interests. Now. You've crossed his bottom line. And Granny. Who you invited back to deal with me. Has been speaking ill of you. Will he really trust you again? Why? Why do you have to do this? What have I done wrong? All right. Stop shouting. Need me to remind you what you did. You should know your place. Before you try to use me. All right. One more thing. I found. Bring a son-in-law. Kiss your life goodbye. Mom, let's go. Monica, what are you doing? Monica, what's wrong? Monica? Impossible. I knew. Layla couldn't find him. I won't lose. I still have a chance. She can't find him. Damn bitch. Layla, you bitch. I won't lose. That's the idiot. Mom, I still have a chance. She can't find him. I didn't lose. I won't lose. Miss Smith is amazing. We found Brenda's son-in-law through you. Take her away. Layla. Let go of me. Layla. Layla, I was wrong. Can you help me? Tell your dad to. Bail us out. You guys wanted to. Kill me. Do you think I'll help you? Wait a minute. I can tell you. How your mother died. 
Iris? You haven't figured out the situation, have you? What right do you have to negotiate terms with me now? As long as you bail us out. I'll tell you. Fine. But you need to. Tell me now. Monica committed a capital crime. I can't save her. You? I can give it a try. Tell me what happened. You have to keep your word. Back then, your mother knew about us. For a long time. She had always thought. Monica was your dad's kid. With your mom's character, she couldn't tolerate it at all. She wanted a divorce. And wouldn't give your dad a penny. Patrick, why is she so cruel? You've worked hard for your family. Why should she let you leave with nothing? Why are you here? Picking you up. Get the answer you wanted? Yes. It's just crueler than I imagined. Don't worry. I'm here. I'll help you with everything. You don't have to worry. About anything. Won't that make me... a good for nothing? How could it be? You're so clever. Let's go. Grandpa is waiting. Okay. This is a gown from the renowned designer Mr. Wyman. Blue Love. Wesley spent six million on this for Layla. Looks just a so so. Amy. Take your paws off my dress. What? You've been a crony city for so long, and you still covet other stuff. You want to. Go back to the farm. Ah, uh, don't misunderstand. I was just looking. Don't be angry. Layla, you insult me. When I get to marry Jerry, I won't let you off. My cousin is greedy. But she helped me a lot. I'll just let her go. I don't think she'll achieve anything. If you like it, I can give it to you. Really? Of course. When have I ever lied to you? But. You accept my gift. And you should behave yourself. I will marry the future head of the Marcus family. Don't have any funny business. Welcome to my 80th birthday. Party. This is the daughter of my savior. Also my granddaughter-in-law to be. Wesley. You haven't taken over the Marcus group. I still have a chance. Let's wait and see. Nice to meet you. Wesley and I will be counting on you. Sure.
Do you remember me? I'm Amy Brown. We met at your family dinner party. Amy. That rings a bell. You're Layla's cousin. What are you doing here? To laugh at me too? How could it be? Layla can't tell. But the first time I saw you, I thought you were the most charming man I'd ever seen. Jerry? Layla? Jerry? It's really you. I knew you still loved me. Jerry. Jerry. You're drunk. No. You're back. Late at night. Success? Uh, yes. As long as you don't regret it. Let's see how long you'll laugh. When Jerry succeeds, I will replace you and take over the Marcus family. Why are you on my bed? You drugged me. What are you talking about? Your maidservant served the wine. You forcefully carried me back to your room. You don't want to date me. When did I ever date a random woman? No. I didn't drink much yesterday, how could I be so drunk? Wesley. It must be him. He wanted to use this method, to tear Layla and me apart. He acts all decent. But plays this dirty. You're Layla's cousin. Yes. If this woman made trouble, that would be what Wesley wanted. I have to calm her down first. Since it already happened. You should be my girl. Let's date. Do you want to marry the future head? Or an illegitimate son of the Marcus family? Jerry. What do you mean? Didn't Layla tell you? Whoever marries her will take over the Marcus group. The others are just pitifully depending on the guy. That damned Patrick Smith won't give up this alliance with the Marcus family. Aren't you also a Smith? Won't you have a rich husband when Layla is gone? So, are you willing to help me? Jerry. I really like you. I don't want the money. But if you want. I can give it to you. However, Layla is not easy to deal with. You should know it by. What happened to Iris and Monica? Hmm. Let me think about this. Sounds nice. But you just slept with me. For my money. All right. I'll wait for you. Get changed. I'll drive you home. Jerry. I've made up my mind. I'll help you. Oh, then how? I have the company's fake accounts. I can give you a copy. And, Iris got locked up. 
because she had planted people in the company. All these years, she's been transferring the assets. The Smith Group is now an empty shell. With just a little push, you can acquire it. Moreover, Layla cares about the company a lot. All right, I got it, babe. This is very useful. As long as I succeed, I'll take good care of you. By the way, Jerry, you'd better watch out. Layla might be plotting against you. Haha, uh -huh, she? Let's see who gets the last laugh. Ms. Smith, bad news. Many of our big clients withdrew their funds. What? Have you asked why? I've contacted them. They said our capital chain was cut off. They wanted to prevent more loss. How is this possible? We've hidden our financial status well. Ms. Smith, is something really wrong with our capital chain? No. Don't think too much. Go back to work. I'll take care of it. Okay. I'll get back. Mom's property soon. Why did something happen now? Come in. Ms. Smith, look at this. Um, just now. Half of middle management have resigned, and some of them applied for a long-term leave. Have you talked to them? Yes. They heard from Jack Moore. The Smith Group had been negotiating an acquisition, so they wanted to leave. Okay, I got it. Ms. Smith, this is mine. Put it here. Opportunists. What do you want? Don't get so worked up. I have good news for you. Spit it out. I heard the group is closing down. I can buy it out of kindness. Do you have anything else to say? You called just to make me curse you? Don't hang up on me. How about this? You marry me. And I'll buy the Smith group. Then I give it to you. So isn't the group still yours? It also saves you the time of handling your dad. Don't even think about it. Let me tell you, you can have the group over my dead body. I'll pick you up after work. I'll take care of the Smith group. The capital chain. Don't worry, I'll handle it. Let's talk to Benson first. If it doesn't work, I'll have to ask for your help. Don't worry, as long as you say it. Well, it's simple. I only need to borrow some money. Borrow? Between you and me? No. It's different. But, why do you want money? Jerry called to threaten me. That reminds me. I plan to acquire the Smith Group. Then I'll call the shots. I don't want Patrick to threaten me anymore. Okay. It sure feels great to have a sugar daddy. Looks like the Smith family is going down. Getting support from an unknown girl. You don't have to. Sounds so sarcastic. I'm here to discuss work with you. Not to fight. Nice. Get straight to the point. I can bail Iris out. But. You need to. Return my money. What money? Dream on. Miss Smith. I think you're a little whimsical now. Iris took the money. What does it have to do with us? Besides, look at your group. Do you think you're still qualified to negotiate with me? Then we have nothing to say. Let's go. I think you haven't figured out what's going on. 
Layla is not only a smith, but also my fiancé. Your family is in the mining business, right? A few years ago, one of your mines collapsed. However, the casualties were zero. What a coincidence. Now, shall we talk? Iris took your money. What does it have to do with us? Anyway, our family doesn't have it. It doesn't matter whether you have it. What matters is how we think about it. Now I feel your family's integrity and attitude are both failing. So I decided from today onwards, I'll stop cooperating with the Moore family. Mr. Moore, what do you say? Mr. Marcus, you have the final say. Iris has been targeting Layla. She should have told you about it, right? Who marries Layla is the future head of the Marcus family. Do you think what I say counts? What do you want, Miss Smith? I just wanted my money back. It's a pity that you want your lesson the hard way. I've changed my mind now. A compensatory payment of two million. Then I'll bail Iris out. Presumably, this meager money is nothing for Mr. Moore. You'll run the Moore family soon. This money, in exchange for your stable stocks and good public image, is worth it. Two million. You blackmailer. Fine. I have ways to save the Smith group. Or I can happily living my life as Mrs. Marcus, but if I get upset, I might remove the Moore family out of a crony city one day. All right. I'll sign it. Stop. Draft. A gift contract. Don't try to take the money back. Wesley, you were amazing today. Without you, I wouldn't have persuaded him. You were not bad yourself. Pretty smart. Of course. Don't you know whose girlfriend I am? By the way, Jerry. How are you going to handle him? By the way, Jerry. How are you going to handle him? I see he's been pretty idle lately. Even having time to threaten me. Do you know what he said? He asked me to marry him. And he'd help the Smith group get through this crisis. Hey. Is your family that rich? He's basically a nobody, and he owns. So much cash? Well. I think he just gets bored. Don't worry. I'll tell Grandpa to. Cancel all his cards. Off we go. Dad. You're back. What's the matter? Let's talk. At the study. What is it? Layla. How are you doing? At the company? Do you like it? Did you already know? The Smith Group would come to this? So you gave it to me. Haha, -ha, what are you saying? I don't understand what you're talking about. You are my only daughter. I should only give. The company to you. Don't. Didn't you want me to revive the group? With the help of the Marcus family? When I'm done, you'll get it back. Don't even think about it. I won't use their money. To save your company. Layla. How could you watch? The Smith Group go bankrupt? Your mother helped build it. How dare you mention her? You don't think I know. What terrible thing you've done. What do you know? You're ungrateful. All these years. Your food, clothes, house, and the Smith Group. 
None of them belongs to you. You were just a poor boy. Who got lucky to marry mom? She was your lover. How could you do that? You repel me. Patrick Smith. I purchased. The Smith Group. In the future. It's mine. Not yours. Shut up. You unfilial thing. I'm still alive. You wanna steal my properties now? You don't have the right to say no. You'd better. Go back to the countryside with your mom. Spend the rest of your lives there. Or I'll send you to prison. To atone for your sins. Can I go in? Of course. The company is in a mess. You should be very busy. Meet me so late at night. What's the matter? I just want to ask you. The Smith family has treated you well. Such a big house. And the silk nightgown you're wearing. How many years do you have to work on the farm to get these? You're just here to humiliate me. Of course not. I want to ask you. Why betray the family? Just for a man? I treated you well, didn't I? I even got you a job. What do you mean? I don't understand. All right. Didn't you tell Jerry? About our capital chain? So you know. Okay. So what if it was me? Treated me well. When have you guys really respected me? You moved to town early. And became rich. Now you're bankrupt. In trouble. How can you? Still put on airs. When I married Jerry. Won't you all try to please me? I see. He told you. He'd marry you. Then do you know. What he told me. He said. As long as I marry him. He'd help support the Smith group. So stop dreaming. Impossible. Don't try to. Break us apart. Without me. How would the Marcus family possibly work with the Smith group? You're nothing. Impossible. Impossible. I've done so much for Jerry. He couldn't have lied to me. It's you. It must be you. You seduced him. Why did you introduce me back then? You've been lying to me. I'm lying? Stop pretending. Jerry uses you. And you're just after his money too. I advised you so many times. You didn't listen. Ah. Uh ha, -huh. uh -huh. anyway, the Smith group is going bankrupt. All of you will count on me. What you've done is not gonna change anything. I've already acquired the group. It won't close down. And, I'll be the new boss. Patrick and his mom will go back to the countryside soon. As for you, it's none of my business. But don't let me see your face again. You, why do you have these photos? Simple. I hacked into your phone. With these photos? You're not marrying anyone. No man will even keep you around. So I advise you, better leave a crony city ASAP. Try to make a living elsewhere. Layla. Just you wait.
Layla. About your mom. We've let you down. But, Patrick is your father. All right, stop. As long as you don't call the police, and give us living expenses every month. The money in his card is enough for you to live. And I'll give you allowance every month. But if you want to stick around and make me sick, just don't. Where is Amy? She's not going with you? Well, she wants to work here. You have to take good care of her. She's your cousin. She didn't really do anything wrong. Mom, stop it. Layla, I'm so sorry about your mom. Jerry, what should we do now? Layla acquired the Smith Group and even drove away my uncle and grandma back to the countryside with some dirty trick. Now she owns the group. What should we do? It was all because of you. Didn't you do anything to stop her? You can't blame me. How would I know? She had so much money. Ah. She must have asked Wesley. For the money. Wesley. That bastard cancelled all my cards. I don't have a company like him. So how should I make money? Why, could he spend so much of our family to help Layla? Grandpa just likes him more. Jerry, I have an idea. That'll definitely make Layla listen to us. But, I can't do it myself. I need your help. What is it? Now, Layla has money. And status. And won't be bothered by trivial stuff. But if... She kills someone. What do you mean? What if she kills someone? Are you kidding? How would she? How? Idiot. I mean we can find a hopeless guy and pay him to knock into Layla's car when she's driving. Isn't there an accident then? Then you offer to help her. Won't she listen to you? Aren't you clever? That's it then. I'll give you the money. Go and find a guy. Done. Soon you'll be behind bars, Layla. Layla, what would you like to drink? There's no need. Say it. What's Jerry's new plan? Then. What about my condition? You want to stay in a crony city? Okay. I can find you a job. But not in the Smith Group. Cause you betrayed me before. Jerry wanted to drug Wesley and then arrange a woman to sow discord between the two of you. As expected. Dirty. All right, I'll call you when I have a job for you during this period. You'd better behave. Call me. I don't think you'll have the chance.
Why was Amy acting so weird today? Why did the brakes fail? What's going on? Didn't you say you'd find a desperate guy? That person doesn't look like it. And why do I feel like you know him? Yes, I know him. But you pushed him. I just texted him. You tricked me. You tricked me. And you didn't. You got information from me. Wanting to marry Layla. You're any better? Didn't you do it with me, for the money? You hit me? What? Do you still think you own? The Marcus family. You're nothing more than a penniless loser. When Wesley marries Layla, do you think they'll keep a piece of trash like you? Do you think you can get away with it? My hands are clean. Do you have any evidence to prove? I'm involved. Even if I'm exposed. I can say you got jealous because I cheated on you. After all, it's not illegal to cheat, is it? Mr. Marcus, I advise you. Better pray. The man who was hit. Never wakes up, huh? You know. He saw your face. Layla, you're awake. Doctor. Why did you sit up? How are you feeling? Does anything hurt? How's the guy I knocked into? Why do I feel like he was? Jack Moore? Calm down. It was him. He's in a stable status now. Though still unconscious. I think. It's not that simple. He just. Jumped out. And my car was tampered with. What happened? Today, Amy wanted to talk to me. Then, she asked me to help her find a job in exchange for telling me Jerry's plan. After that, I was about to drive away. Then, Jack popped up. I couldn't stop my car. It was indeed strange. But don't worry. I'll look into it for you. Rest up now. Don't blame me. It was Amy's fault. If not for her, we both wouldn't have ended up like this. Layla. On my way here, I heard. Jack is dead. What? Didn't you say he was in a stable state? I don't know the details. Perhaps it was a complication. The doctor said he died of a lack of oxygen. I wanted his explanation. When he woke up. Don't worry about that. I'll help you think of something. And your brakes. We're indeed tampered with. I've helped you file a case. Where's Layla? Come out. 
Get up. You're in a hospital. Get up. What do you mean, Layla? Trying to scare the more family away. You can leave now. I'll take care of this. Yes. Mr. Moore. You want an explanation? What now, Layla? I've already compensated you. Iris has not been released yet. And you killed my cousin. Are you threatening me? The Moore family is not to be trifled with. You've misunderstood. I don't care about your family at all. I really didn't try to hurt Jack. You didn't. He's lying in a coffin now. You say you're not involved. Someone tampered with my car. And he just popped out. All of a sudden. You can see. It was a scheme. Anyway, your family is to blame. We've done nothing wrong. We can't just let this slide. We knocked him down. And we'll pay for it. Miss Smith. I don't want your money. I want you to go to jail. How do you think the jury will judge? I'll compensate you. What on earth do you want? All of my family has been urging me. They want my cousin to rest in peace. A hundred thousand dollars for a car accident? Do we look like beggars to you? Cut the crap. What the hell do you want? I want 40% of the shares of the Smith Group. It's not too much, is it? Stop dreaming. Let me tell you, even if I die, I won't hand over the group to your family. You're just a woman. Why don't you get married? And look after your kids at home. Why do you have to run a company? Without you, the Moore family had already taken over the Smith group. Since you don't want to, then do your time in prison. See if the Marcus family still wants you. Mr. Moore. Show me some respect. I'm standing right here. How dare you yell at? My fiancé like this. Mr. Marcus, the Moore family, is not a pushover. We are in the right this time. You can't threaten us now. I can't touch your Marcus family, but I can still handle your girls' group. At worst, we'll both end up miserably. I don't know who told you to stir up trouble here, but I think it's stupid. What? What do you mean? Even if you can take the entire Smith group, so what? Layla is the future mistress of the Marcus family. As long as she wants. She can wipe you out easily. And today you've offended me. The Moore family is doing the wrong thing. I'll give you all the compensation you deserve. But if you want to take advantage of the situation, let me tell you, no way. Get out of here. Layla, how are you? Feeling okay? What did the doctor say? Grandpa, I'm fine now. The doctor said I just had a slight concussion. I'll be fine after resting for a while. That's good. Just now, I saw someone running out. Did he come here to cause trouble? How could it be? Wesley is here. Who dares? At least he's of some use. Layla. You should move to my place after you're discharged. I've arranged everything for you. Next month, you'll marry. Wesley. I'll give you my old house. To you guys. Your parents are not here. I'll walk you down the aisle. What? Grandpa, what do you mean? Then where do I live? You, you'd better move back to your place. Didn't your dad leave you a house? What are you doing in my place? Grandpa. Layla. I hope you get married soon. I'll hand over the affairs. To Wesley. I want to. Retire as soon as possible. You'd better hurry up. Have a baby. That would be even better.
Jason, do me a favor. After it's done, I'll pay whatever you want. Miss Smith, how are you feeling? Does anything hurt? Much better. The doctor said, I can be discharged today. Where's your boyfriend? You've been sticking together. He won't pick you up today. He has a meeting at the company. I can go back by myself. Okay. Take your time. Jason, I've done as you said. You won't bother my dad, right? Don't worry. I won't visit your home this month. Then how about the phone? Just destroy it. Miss Smith, you're rich. It's just a phone. You won't blame me, right? If I don't do this, my family will be in trouble. I want this quarter's financial report on my desk by next Monday. Okay. The market. Where's the patient in this room? She should have been discharged, I think. How much? I don't want money. I'll only give you half an hour. You should know. We're not gentle with women. Oh, by the way, don't call the police. We're veterans. You try something suspicious, and we'll throw her into the sea. Where are you? Give Layla back, now. Hit him. I've done what you said. Try to steal my things? I'll own the Marcus family. All right, you're killing him. Throw him into the sea, leave him to his fate. Then about the money. I'll transfer it. To your card later. Grandpa, I'm back. Grandpa. Grandpa. Jerry. Why are you still here? This is my home. Where else can I be? Didn't Grandpa tell you to move out? Do you think I will? Listen to that? What do you mean? I mean... I own this house now. Stay put. I'll hold the press conference tomorrow. And become the head of the Marcus family. Perhaps, for the sake of our past, I'll still marry you. After all, I want to know what Wesley's woman tastes like. Stop dreaming. Where's Grandpa? What on earth did you do? Well, you're still in the mood to worry about others? You bastard. He's your grandfather. How could you do this to him? Grandfather? He only cares about Wesley. 
Jerry, I'm telling you. When Wesley is back. You're dead meat. Poof. Are you still counting on that guy? He might be on the sea right now. Floating. What did you do? That fool? I told him you were kidnapped. He came to save you. He's just a fool in love. How can he beat me? Jerry, you jerk. Don't try anything. I only keep you alive because I will marry you. To be the head of the Marcus family. If you don't want that old thing locked up in a madhouse, do what I say tomorrow. Maybe I'll be kind to. Let you see Wesley one last time. Men. Escort Miss Smith back to her room. No need. I can walk on my own. Because of some special factors, Wesley Marcus, my brother, is missing. My grandfather is bedridden due to a serious illness, as the only heir of this family. I've decided to take over the Marcus group. Suddenly disappear? Why do you decide to take over the Marcus group so soon? That's right. Wesley Marcus has been running the group. He suddenly disappeared. Is there something fishy going on? Sir Marcus once said, Whoever marries Layla owns the Marcus group. Now she has decided to marry me. I don't think there's anything wrong. Jerry, want me to remind you what you've done in front of everyone? Impossible. Wesley. Wesley. You're finally back. He said he threw you into the sea. I thought... I would never see you again. Don't cry. I'm fine. Jerry! Kidnapped Wesley! And locked Sir Marcus up in a mental hospital! If I don't marry him... He'll lock Sir Marcus up forever. <laughs> Mr. Marcus. Mr. Marcus. Mr. Marcus. This is the CCTV footage of the car accident. You Push Jack Moore. You tampered with Layla's car. You've committed murder. From now on, repent your sins in prison. You're beautiful today. When am I not?